Today, we are going to discuss the WSP packaging in SharePoint version 2013. So we are going to create a very, very simple project in SharePoint where you are not even going to code using any language. So if you are not a developer, you need not worry at all. You have, but still you can open up Visual Studio and create a SharePoint project. So this will give you an understanding of how to get started with WSP packaging. And so we will today we will create a simple project and also how to deploy and test using Visual Studio itself. Uh, so before moving on to the demo, so we'll just have a quick overview of a basic WSP file. So what is WSP file? It is nothing but a SharePoint solution, custom solutions, which are providing custom features which are not deep, uh, provided by default in SharePoint. A simple WSP file can be thought of as a cabinet file, which will have a basic file would definitely have these three. It would have a manifest.xml describing what the file has at DLL and as well some files. So if you look here, there's a sample WSP file. So to understand what this file is, let's just rename this as a cap file. So we'll copy and make a paste of this. What we'll do is we'll just rename this as a cap file. You need not do this, but it's just to help you understand what a WSP file is. You rename it to a cap file yes and once you open this see this is the contents of the WSP file it has a manifest file so this manifest file contains the assembly details like what is the DLL being loaded and the file so if you observe there were there was one image file and a SharePoint DLL file so we'll go ahead and start with the project demo open Visual Studio in administrator mode that is right click run as administrator then click file new project Under Visual C Sharp, click Office or SharePoint. And in this middle box, just search for SharePoint 2013 empty project. And let's just give a custom name, SharePoint project demo, demo image. So today we are going to create a simple project, which is going to publish files across the SharePoint hive. So suppose you have a file and you want to deploy it to all the SharePoint servers in your farm, this WSP package will be really helpful. All you have to do is create a WSP and it will take care of loading this image to all the SharePoint servers in this location. Template, the relative path is template images slash your project name followed by the custom image name. We will click deploy as a farm solution. Ensure that the site you selected is a local site that is deployed in this farm and then click finish. Then as a next step, let's just add an image. Click right click the project, right click the solution, sorry. And click add new right click the solution uh, project and click add if you see there must be the name for sharepoint images map folder let's click that and once the custom folder is created let's just add an existing image add existing item let's look for images in the pictures folder We'll just and we'll rename it so that it doesn't replace any existing file. Then ensure you use it in the release mode if you want to publish it to administrators. You can choose further properties from the configuration manager. Let's choose the x64 platform.
now build the project to ensure it is building without any errors since there are there is not a single line of code it should build successfully now if you want to create the wsp package right click the project and click publish click publish after publishing go to the folder open the folder in file explorer it would be in the release folder go to the bin directory release and if you observe the sharepoint demo image dot wsp is created this is the file which you will be sharing across with your administrators for installing in the farm now let's suppose you want to deploy and test the code in your development environment that's very easy just simply right click and click deploy so you can see the steps it is recycling the IIS pool, retracting the solution if it is already existing. And since there were no features, no features were activated. After your deployment is done, you can go to the central administration and see whether your solution was deployed or not. Go to system settings. Click manage farm solutions. So this is the new WSP which we have uh, which was created SharePoint demo image. Now go to C program files, common files, Microsoft Share web server extensions folder 15 then bin sorry template images and this is the folder which was created and you can see your custom image also here so this was a very simple example to upload an image to SharePoint with less or no coding involved. Suppose you want to remove the file across servers. All you have to do is simply retract. This was a very simple demo. Thank you.